The terrifying final moments before a man was Una lived after climbing into a plane's engine are shown on chilling new security footage. On New Year's Day, Kyler Effinger, an American, lost his life at Utah's Salt Lake City International Airport when he went barefoot onto the tarmac after breaching an airport security door and crawling into the engine of a Delta plane. Police said the 30-year-old was a ticketed passenger with a boarding pass for a flight to Denver. The 30-year-old was declared dead at the spot when his body was later found within the turbine of a Delta aircraft. At the time of the event, the plane, which was headed for San Francisco, had 95 passengers and five crew members on board. It was gradually taxiing along the runway in preparation for takeoff. Effinger did not survive despite the police providing CPR and naloxone, a medication used to treat an opioid overdose. According to his relatives, the man was about to board a plane to travel from Utah to Denver, Colorado, to visit his ailing grandfather when he experienced a manic episode that resulted from a mental health crisis. In the recently made public video, he can be seen frantically trying to enter a closed door at Gata 2 while sprinting towards it while just sporting his socks on and gripping his shoes. He then speaks with what appears to be an airport staff member before running away and attempting to open another locked door, tugging at it before falling on the ground. He got up and started using his shoes to bash in windows until he was captured on another security camera, kicking open an emergency exit door and sprinting down a stairwell. When the video concluded, Effinger had managed to make it onto the tarmac, and a thermal imaging camera had captured him rushing towards the plotting Delta Airlines aircraft. I knew it was coming on when he missed his flight, got stuck in security, and received those phone calls. It's referred to as the manic phase. For him, those just don't work out. The worst one yet is this one. His dad, Judd Effinger, continued, calling his son, just a really good soul. Extroverted, kind, and considerate. The young man's family said he loved skiing, music, his dogs, and the Utah Utes but he also admitted to having struggled with mental health issues in the past. His sister Annika told the newspaper, we first found out about his bipolar disorder, probably 10 years ago. After experiencing his first significant manic episode, he kind of proceeded to experience extremely difficult manic episodes every two to three years. The family is hoping that by sharing this story, more people would see how important it is to look after their mental health. According to his father, from the outside, it looked like he was as good as he's ever been. For other parents and families that are going through this, do not self-medicate, he pleaded. Seek professional doctors. Seek professional therapists. Despite all of our encouragement to him to seek help and get into therapy and try to address his disorder head-on, he was always reluctant to do that because of the bullying he had endured, his mother Lisa added. Officials have stated that the aircraft's engines were rotating and that, the specific stage of engine operation remains under investigation. His family wants to raise awareness about mental health. Went to him to seek help and get into therapy and try to address his disorder head-on, he was always reluctant to do that because of the bullying he had endured, his mother Lisa added. Officials have stated that the aircraft's engines were rotating and that the specific stage of engine operation remains under investigation. His family wants to raise awareness about mental health. The following is the timeline of the incident made available by the police. The death of a man who squirmed into the engine of a Delta Airlines aircraft while it was parked at Salt Lake City International Airport late on Monday is being looked into by Utah police. The 30-year-old man allegedly ran to the south end of the airport's west runway where de-icing operations were underway and crawled into an aircraft engine that was not running after entering the secure ramp area of the property through a terminal emergency exit. According to the airport, the individual was discovered to be unconscious and could not be revived by emergency personnel. The nature of the man's injuries is unknown at this time. According to authorities, Effinger, the traveler, entered the airport's exterior ramp area through one of the emergency exit doors in the terminal. According to the announcement, a pilot claimed to have seen the man during the search. Officers discovered clothing and shoes, among other personal belongings on one of the runways a short while later. The suspect was at one of the airport's plane de-icing pads when dispatchers informed police about him approximately 10 minutes into the search. There, he crawled underneath an aircraft and accessed the engine, according to police. Subsequently, the police requested that air traffic controllers instruct the pilot to turn off the aircraft's engines. 
Effinger was discovered unconscious and partially inside one of the commercial aircraft's wing-mounted engines when authorities arrived at the scene, according to police, who also said investigation into the precise phase of engine operation is ongoing. According to the announcement, SLCPD officers and airport operations pulled the man from the intake cowling of the engine, secured the scene, started life-saving efforts, and requested emergency medical services. Among those efforts were naloxone delivery and CPR. Police report that Effinger passed away at the site. The department also stated that a toxicology report might be done by medical examiners in addition to an autopsy to ascertain the cause and manner of his death. According to airport police, the event did not affect other airport operations. The Federal Aviation Administration, the National Transportation Safety Board, and the Transportation Security Administration are all looking into the event, according to Salt Lake City Police. The investigation is being conducted by local authorities, according to the National Transportation Safety Board, which stated that it is gathering information on the incident. Our heartfelt condolences to the family and friends of Kyler Effinger. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think and leave the comment below. We upload new videos every week. Click that like button and hit that notification bell if you like the video. We appreciate you and take care.